The Falmouth Commodores are back after a day off on the road to face the Brewster Whitecaps for the first time this season. Welcome into Opening the Door. I'm Destiny Sanchez alongside Matt Venezia and Zach Serdenik. Matt, we had a day off yesterday, but we were in Hyannis the day before. Give us a recap about that road game. Yeah, other than the crazy weather that was really inevitable that ended up canceling that ball game, the game actually went well for the Commodores in the early part of the ball game. Up 5-1 early, nine hits for the first time through the order. The Doors just could not miss through three innings of that game. Up 5-1, to one, very, very early, Dominic Nyman rolled right on through the order when Hyannis came up to bat. And then everything kind of changed. The, the Harbor Hawks started hitting the baseball. It was extra base hit after another. Couldn't get out of jams. And as the weather started rolling in, when we were talking about you should have the lead, hopefully, when this weather rolls in, the doors blew a 5-1 lead. We're down 6-5 to when we went into that rain delay. And, you know, between lightning strikes every couple of minutes, I mean, there was really no way to get that game going. And ultimately, it was canceled. And because it was after five innings, it counts as a complete game. And that's why Falmouth uh, got the loss and now is 1-3-1 one, and one on the year. But again, a, a lot of hits early. That's you know good to see. Uh, there's a lot of improvement in this staff, given that the runs were not being put up for the first couple of games prior to Hyannis. So if that can keep up, you got to like your odds against a good booster team tonight. And I think that's something that we're still lacking to see from the Commodores is maintaining that lead or pushing for a lead. So it'd be nice to see some of that coming forward. Um, now moving over to today, who for Falmouth should we keep our eye on? Well, I'm going to tell you a sneak peek about what Destiny will be talking about in the beginning of the broadcast. There are a lot of new faces for the Commodores here this evening. We'll let her talk about that on the broadcast. But we're going to talk about one guy who's actually been here, and that's Tab Tracy, the center fielder out of Texas A&M. He's been in the 9-hole for the Doors, acting like that second leadoff man for Falmouth. And in the ballgame the other day, and Tyannis had two hits. And if the game wasn't called to weather, he probably would have had a lot more than that. So when you have a guy like Gavin Keelan in the one spot, if Tab can get on, then your leadoff guy comes up with a base runner already aboard. And that's really important for a team that has sort of struggled with runs up until last game. So if Tab can get aboard, he's going to throw some runners out too with that big left-handed arm out there in center field. you got to like what he can do to this lineup that has a lot of new faces right after him in the order. Now, Zach, this is the first time we're seeing the Brewster Whitecaps, and we are on the road. Who should we keep an eye on for Brewster? Yeah, we're going to talk about a couple of Missouri Tigers here for the Whitecaps, but first we'll start with the one that will make an impact at the plate and probably behind it as well for Brewster. It's Dylan Leach. He's been outstanding as their catcher this season. Seven hits already in his first 15 at-bats for the Whitecaps. Outstanding start to the summer. He's going to be catching one of his collegiate teammates today on the mound, but Really going to pace things. He's in the two hole for Brewster, trying to get that top of the order going. Now, talking about the pitching matchup, we're going to see a familiar face in Michael Ferret for the Commodores, but what should we know about this pitching matchup tonight? Yeah, so I mentioned the Missouri Tiger. It's Javen Pimentel, the Hawaii native. Really had a strong season for Missouri this year and had a good start on opening night. Got the no decision in that Brewster win over Bourne back on opening night. He's getting the ball again today. Three pitch mix, fastball, curveball, and change up. He'll use all three pitches to try and keep guys off balance. Has a lot of movement on that fastball as well. On the other side, it's Michael Ferret. We saw him back on opening night at Gov Fuller Field. Got the loss in that game, but a lot of unforced errors by the Commodores in that game really hurt Michael Ferret. Made that line look a little worse than it should have been. He was pretty solid. He'll use his three pitches as well, fastball, slider, and changeup to try and get through a very dangerous Brewster lineup. Now the guys had a nice day off, so hopefully we'll see some fresh legs here at Stony Brook Field. This has been Opening the Door. We'll see you guys on the broadcast.